my surf fishing friends. We are down here at the surf. It's October 2nd and there are fishermen smattered up and down the beach looking to catch some red drums, some black drums, some trout, whatever they can get their little hooks into, right? Well, guess what? I want to do the same thing, but I've only got one hour. My wife called before and she's like, let's go out for dinner when I get off work and that's in an hour. So I've got one hour to get down here and see what I can catch. To make matters worse, all I got is some frozen bait. So we're going to see what we can catch in the surf October 2nd one hour it's a frozen bait on double drop rig let's go hey y'all come on out here man we're about to get this thing started here y'all know how we're doing out here right where we going man where we going all right surf fishing friends the challenge is on here to start with frozen bait right i got this frozen shrimp at the beach pantry picked up a little bucket for what five bucks i'm going to take it over here put it on my double drop tourist rig with my what number one circle hooks and I'm just going to put that frozen shrimp on both of those. Uh, I think it's a two ounce weight. I probably could have gotten a little heavier. I got some uh, heavy tackle here. I got the 6,500 pen on the 11 foot rod. Hey, we're in the surf. I don't need to cast it that far though. Believe me, right past the breakers is where the fish are. And they say it's bad luck if on the first cast you catch a fish. Well, guess what? First cast caught a fish. All right. So what is it? Is it a red drum? Is it a black drum? No. It's not either of those. It's a ladyfish. Are ladyfish good to eat? No. Do they make good bait? Yeah. If I was going shark fishing after this, I would have kept them. But you know what? Nice, fun little fish to catch. They do put up a little fight, but uh, I had to let them go. Matter of fact, he let himself go. <laughs> he just jumped out. And then after that, I didn't catch anything for about you know a half an hour in that spot, except for I almost caught that kayaker. But uh, I was fishing with about two other guys that were real close to me, and they weren't catching much either. So I moved. You can see my bucket here. That's where I have been fishing. I moved down because it was what I saw was a hole. Even though it was low tide, there was a little bit of a hole. So I cast it out right into the surf, and as soon as I did, I caught this little guy right here. I thought it was a pompano. I still think it's a pompano. I don't know. Someone who's better identifying the different species. Is it a jack? Is it a pompano? Uh, it might be a jack. It, I was. I don't know. Someone who knows better than I can maybe can chime in. I, I kind of let him go before I uh, put too much time and effort into it. But I did load that hook back up and threw the bait back out right in that surf where I caught that guy. And the next cast, I caught another one. So the second half of the hour here, I'm doing all right. Remember, we only have one hour frozen shrimp. We got to go meet Kim for dinner. So this was definitely a pompano. He fell off the hook. He was hardly on. But look at the yellow on him. You can definitely see that right there. But the thing is, if this was a two-pound pompano, I'd be pretty happy about it. But this is about a two-ounce pompano, so he's going back in the water. Hey, I'm doing the best I can with one hour and frozen shrimp, right? Load it back up, cast it out a couple more times, and uh, I got myself a little, what do you want to call it? A whiting, a Virginia mullet, a kingfish. I actually called it a kingfish, but all three of those names are correct. People argue with me about it, but yeah, lots of people like to call them whiting, but this one's too small. Man, if I could have caught a bigger whiting or a bigger pompano, we might have had some dinner tonight. Might have had some fish tacos, but he's going back. Maybe he'll grow up and uh, come back. And then I, I play this little game where I, I cast it out 20, 40, 60. I'll throw it 20 yards, then 40 yards and 60 yards just to see where the fish are. So I threw this one out about 40 yards and I, call, I pulled up a pinfish. Eh, nobody wants a pinfish. That means I'm probably casting out too far. That's my own personal rule. If I'm catching pinfish or if I'm catching croaker, I'm casting out too far. The bigger fish, the better fish are closer in. You ever know what was called a pinfish though? Look at that dorsal fin right there those penny spikes you put your hand on that the wrong way or you're gonna know why it's called a pinfish all right so we put that pinfish on a hook and uh, and we caught this top so good for us no just kidding <laughs> that was another day all right so that was all we caught we only had one hour we packed it up and we had it here. 